Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Soul Tribe. I am Tigress Soul and in today's Tarot Pick a Card reading, we are finding out from spirit what you need to know about this connection or person on your mind. And I decided on this topic for the collective because I felt that Maybe somebody out there needs some type of guidance, messages, advice, kind of like a mystery reading, like just to validate your feelings, experience and help you reconnect back to love, to see truth, just anything that you do need to know from your spirit guides, higher self, theirs. As always, friends, do remember this is a general reading, so it will be for a group of people. Just take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. And I also do offer personal readings, which is available in my description box. I think we're just going to jump straight in today. We have a lot of pre-shuffled oracle. We also are going to pull tarot to get into the nitty gritty, as well as some more oracle and advice at the end. But as always, starting left to right, we have three piles. We have pile one with the Amazonite crystal, pile two with the tiger's eye and pile three with the citrine crystal. I'll give you a quick moment to pause this reading, meditate on the pile that you feel the most called to and I'll see you there. Hey group one, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the Amazonite crystal, this is your pile. Thank you for clicking this reading and coming to hang out with me today. <clears throat> if you found this, this reading, I feel like there's definitely, it's for a reason. There is messages here. I feel like this is going to find you when it's supposed to as well, very clearly for this pile. Okay, so what do you need to know about the person and connection on your mind? We'll start with these and leave these ones till the end. I'm actually might leave this here just for the energy of the image, the artwork. You may feel like there is a little bit of illusion, darkness, that, that big moon there with the, the trees bending, distorted or bent by the wind, something here. You could feel like your love life is, or this connection is a little unpredictable for some of you. Okay, so what do you need to know about the personal connection on your mind? Enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. believe and trust and the little prayer down the bottom says before going to sleep say archangel michael please enter my dreams replace fear with faith and trust let me be filled with strength courage and confidence so for some of you you could have been having and i did say distorted you could have been having dreams about this person um nightmares scary dreams something like that as well your subconscious may be trying to tell you something about this person or connection. We have patience. And we have giving. Worthiness with number 35. And F it all. Okay, so for some of you, you may feel like sometimes, especially if you are feeling like there is illusions here, confusion, you're needing extra patience, maybe you feel like you don't have enough to give to this connection and sometimes you just feel like F it all, okay, like F it all, I don't. I can't deal with this, um, 
this connection is too much or it's overwhelming you. Spirit wants you to know that what, what is that emotion, those feelings trying to tell you about yourself and what it is that you believe you deserve. Because if your subconscious mind here is causing you to have trust issues or self-worth wounds are coming up for you, um, you're unsure of what destiny is bringing for this connection, what the future holds of this connection, where it's going. You are seeking higher ground, higher perspective. Spirit wants you to look at yourself. What is this connection reflecting back to you? Which is funny because that's what these, these cards here are going to tell us. What is this connection? Actually, I'm going to pull these now. What is this? We have the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. And we have action. And that body is all stretched out thin. You could feel like the um, you're being spread too thin here, that it takes a lot of energy for you to take action, like you're needing extra patience with yourself again. This connection is reflecting back to you that it is time to come out of the darkness Okay, you are being initiated. This is a rite of passage. This connection or person is trying to show you something to help you step into a new world. This is something that is open and available to you. This connection is open and available to you and so is enlightenment. Okay, you are maybe destined to meet this person for whatever reason. But I do definitely think that the connection may be reflecting back to you what it is you believe you are worthy of when it comes to love and commitment. Maybe you are not taking action. For some of you, maybe you don't know which actions to take. Okay, F it all. I will clarify that. Let's see. Spirit for group one, please. What do they need to know about this connection or person on their mind? This person wants to hold you. They want to embrace you. And I noticed there was children on the card. There, it's possible that this is bringing up some inner child wounds for you as well. What do you need to know about this personal connection? We're going to do you, them, the connecting energies. What's going on in this situation? What do they need to know? Eight of pentacles. The person on group one's mind. What do they need to know? Nine of Pentacles. The Fool. Some of you, this is a newer connection. Or someone you've just begin beginning with. Or there's a mutual desire here to start a new beginning together. Okay, you could feel like you have been manifesting this. You have been excited for a connection, a person like this to come around, that this is something you feel could re-spark you, free you from... whatever it is you're looking to leave behind okay I feel like there's a lot of potential between the two of you you both feel a lot of potential excitement desire attraction okay this person may be pursuing you 
this person may what you need to know about this person is you may feel a little intimidated by them you could feel like you need to put in extra effort extra work because maybe this person is because we have the eight of pentacles for how you're feeling so feeling like you need to put in a lot of work and they're showing up as the nine which is a step ahead so you could feel like this person is above you in some way or that they seemingly have it together especially clarified with the king of wands you could feel like this person is <clears throat> a go-getter that they have a lot of drive that they have accumulated a level of prosperity of status power you could feel that this person has a lot of power within the dynamic and this may really trigger you this could bring up a lot of fear okay you could be putting this person on a pedestal instead of recognizing your own dedication your own craft your own skills what it is that you have mastered and what you bring to the table this person is recognizing that you are successful you are victorious that you are standing out to them this person is proud of you of whatever it is you're doing in life you could feel like this person the fears i'm getting around this king of wands it's very <clears throat> if they come on a little strong per se okay maybe they are because fire energy is very quick moving strong passionate maybe this person is taking action but you are busy working on yourself or your career your projects your goals and so you could feel like you don't have as much to give here that you're wanting more patience from this person because i feel that this person here is they have a vision a plan for where they want the connection going and it's based on the potential that they see in you and where this could go but you could feel like you don't know whether you could live up to expectations so what do you need to know clarify effort all what guidance do your spirit guides have about this connection Clarify action. You could be feeling a little bit of self-sabotage tendencies or self-limiting beliefs here. Yeah, I feel that you maybe aren't taking action. That to you you could feel like this is maybe a dream a wish fulfillment but for some reason it's feeling un unobtainable or a little scary for you to take that that jump you see the potential but maybe there is no action or the action you're taking is very slow or limited like you are needing time to really pause reflect heal introspect about how you are experiencing this connection you need a lot of quiet time you need rejuvenation you recharge in your alone time okay and i'm noticing what's happening between you i'm not seeing you guys connected i'm seeing all independent figures here the fool is an independent journey the nine of pentacles is someone who's single thriving glowing they are seeing the work pay off they are investing in self-care it's ruled by virgo venus okay the king of wands where is his queen okay i'm not seeing you guys show up together in the spread so even if you are with this person it may be kind of either light-hearted carefree you're just seeing where things are taking you both 
All right. So what do you need to know? What advice actually? Actually, what's the challenge here? Why have you clicked this reading? What is your challenge for the connection? What is blocking or challenging or limiting, restricting this connection? Ace of Pentacles and offer. This could either be money or career could be blocking it. You could be, again, more focused on career or there is a challenge here where you or this person doesn't know how to ground and attain this wish fulfillment, especially if you both are seeing the potential for that, that you both feel this magnetic desire, okay? But there's something about it being grounded. You may not be trusting the offer. You may not be trusting this person. You could be the pen the ace of pentacles talks about a manifestation actually and the page of wands this is a manifestation being a delivered like a gift okay the page of wands wands can it is ruled by spirit and it can sometimes talk about receiving spiritual downloads um following creative sparks taking inspired action based on those ideas feelings whatever it is that you are lit up by magnetized drawn into so you and this person could both be trying to manifest something here, a new beginning. What advice for group one? What do they need to know? Wheel of fortune. Initiation, cross, crossing the threshold. This seems very relevant with the wheel of fortune. Okay, so maybe you guys need to know and need to hear that there is a rite of passage with the Wheel of Fortune. This is about fate. This is about chance, taking a chance. A lot of the times the Wheel of Fortune can feel that it's something out of our control, that the universe has a higher vision plan and you must trust that. You must embrace what destiny has in store for you. What could be blocking? You could be having self-limiting beliefs about your ability here to sustain, hold and ground this manifestation, this connection. It may feel like this ten of cups, absolute harmony, happiness, wish fulfillment, emotional alignment and for some of you that may be quite different to where you're at whatever it is that you see in this person spirit is saying is all within you as well don't try to make this person more special more it's the love that you're giving them the light you're giving them okay wheel of fortune intuitive nudges in the right direction feeling guided luck taking the right actions it feels like your spirit guides are here to reassure this pile okay that they want you to feel reassured empress on the bottom this is who you are Okay, if you're struggling with worthiness, you are so, the Empress is one of my favorite cards, okay, it talks about a person who is fertile, creative, abundant, and you're underestimating that, I feel like you're really overlooking it, or you may not see what they see, or what other people see, or you're taking it for granted, there's something here where you're not recognizing just how amazing you are this empress can talk about birthing something new abundance it's divine feminine energy someone very nurturing creative beautiful sensual magnetic compassionate so pull this energy into yourself and have patience for whatever feelings are coming up for you 
especially if you're feeling like you've been giving too much of your power away to this situation or connection spirit wants you to give more to yourself and have patience for where you're at why are you so reflective here why is there such pause or hesitation with taking action you're getting anxious you're having worries, unnecessary worry. Um, maybe you've had some difficult experiences in love and connection and it may be coming up for you. Again, you're having difficulty discerning fear and intuition. There's a need to overcome challenges, blocks. You may be feeling insecure or a need to self-preserve, self-protect that it takes extra effort and energy for you to stand up and rise to the occasion and overcome any challenges between you and them or within your own heart space and your own ability here to give and receive love. Your intuition is trying to guide you and to tell you something about this person that maybe you're having difficulty hearing. You may be really overthinking a lot. What is your intuition trying to tell you about? this person with the high priestess the star wish fulfillment that it's okay to be hopeful in love that it's okay for hope healing that this experience this connection could be very healing for you if you allow it to be the star shines light in the dark and she's pouring from the well back into the ground she's got one foot in her emotions one foot is grounded on the earth i just noticed there's a bird in the background have you guys ever noticed there's a bird in the background on the tree i never noticed that on the star card before until this moment and if and there's a bird over there on the nine of birds may be um relevant you guys may be seeing a lot of crows or birds. Nature may really speak to you. Some of you may have a bird. You have a pet bird. But birds often represent messages, messengers of the divine. So your intuition is trying to tell you. that this situation or connection has the potential to help renew your spirits, that you are worthy of having a happy, loving, healthy connection, especially with this person. If you feel like spirit wants you to, I know this is a general reading, but spirit wants you to not lose sight of what your intuition is telling you. Don't lose sight of, your desires don't throw it all away and say effort doesn't matter okay instead have patience for the process of how this connection is unfolding okay let's see what else does group one need to know about this person or connection we have new love a new chapter begins whether it is with a new partner or in a current relationship okay and when you are feeling the need to distance yourself from this person maybe to regain balance the right person will understand they will be patient what do you need to know about this person or connection put yourself first take a leap of faith and we have the fool which is about taking a leap of faith stepping out of your comfort zone this person may want to take a leap of faith towards you group one okay the this person or you there's a need to put yourself first 
to focus on self-care, self-love and to do what makes you happy, follow where your heart, your bliss, your joy is wanting you to go. <clears throat> it says only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone will you reap great rewards. So for some of you guys, if this is a newer connection, maybe you're having difficulty putting yourself first as well versus being in a connection. Maybe you are very independent, you're a very independent person. Spirit wants you to know that in putting yourself first, it's only going to make you more emotionally available, more romantically attractive as well. I hear, I, I hear you guys saying, is it safe for me to love? Take your power back. You're giving somebody control over how you feel. Your happiness should only depend on you. For some of you guys, maybe you have dealt with codependency and this is why your independence, your... Self-love is so important to you. All right? let's oh my leg is going to sleep oh my gosh let's get some advice for you from your spirit guides first of all they want you to believe and trust love yourself first that's the second time okay for some of you if you are feeling like the person on your mind who you came to this reading for, maybe you came here, I feel like this, this, okay, let me just stop. For some of you, you have this urge and desire to be free, to effort all, to not worry about love and relationship that you feel this need to put yourself first, to love yourself, to be on your own journey. But at the same time, you may be feeling like this may be blocking love. Okay, what advice for you from your spirit guides? Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There's someone you feel very passionate about, and that is for sure. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. And bottom of the deck, it's safe for you to love. Didn't I say some of you are asking, you don't know whether or not it's safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, it is safe for you to bring renewal, healing, light, love back into your love life. For some of you guys, there's a past relationship that may have really affected things for you. This person on your mind it may be someone that you've had something with in a past life. It's safe for you to act on your passions. Now, what does your higher self want you to know? It says, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. If you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. I feel like this group, you may be quite self-aware with all this reflection that you've been doing, especially if you're having negative thoughts, you may have fears that these negative thoughts are going to come true or that you are predicting something, especially if you've had scary dreams, okay? You could be feeling like these are weeds. This is not what you want to harvest. This is not where you expected things to be going, okay? Pay attention to what those fearful thoughts are telling you because it has to do with something from your past coming up to be healed 
something that is blocking the flow of love in this connection. And so spirit wants you to redirect your thoughts and stop focusing on what you're scared of happening and instead focus on what it is you want to create, what your ideal romantic partner connection looks like and feels like for you so that you can better recognize it when it comes in. Okay. So that is all I have for you, group one. I'm going to leave this reading here now. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I do hope this was helpful, that you received some wisdom, guidance, entertainment from it at the very least. Let me know if this did resonate and please like the video. And yeah, I will see you guys in another reading group one. Bye. Hey, group two, welcome to your readings. You've chosen the tiger's eye crystal. This is your pile. What do you need to know about this connection or person on your mind? Thank you guys for clicking this video and hanging out with me, first of all. Um, as always, remember it is a general, so not everything may resonate, but let's just jump straight in. I'll start with your pre-shuffled oracle. We have oh, honor, honor your loved one, and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. Heart, you begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. Eternal love. And the prayer down the bottom says, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. Maturity. You are seriously incredible. Simplicity. Pleasure. Commitment. And we're not going to pull this until the end, but I do want to leave it there just to read the artwork and how it may be relevant. So before I flip these over and pull the tarot, I just want to quickly touch on what I'm seeing for you, group two. This relationship or connection feels like something very serious. This is a serious commitment, okay? You may have really matured. And as you are maturing and growing, spirit wants you to know that the way that you do give love is seriously incredible, that you have a, a well of eternal love available to you at any moment. Your heart, your heart is so beautiful. That's one thing that you really need to know. This person does really honor you. They do want this relationship to grow, mature, to develop and become stronger. There's a simplicity to the way this person connects to you. They may feel like things are very simple, easy. This person does feel a lot of pleasure connecting with you. This person wants serious commitment as well. I'm not sure why you might, might be doubting it or why you are clicking on this reading maybe there's going to be some very cute heartfelt messages of reassurance in here for this pile but both of these people are either side and they look like they are half tree half human so there's something about natural attraction natural resonance like two trees in a forest but there's flames around them like you are on fire burning pleasure desire passion And as I said that, I'm, I thought of like phoenix energy. You may be afraid. You may have been burned in love before. Okay, maybe this person has been as well. And I'm noticing now that the people, there's like little scratch marks kind of in, like the strokes of her paintbrush have made little lines, scratch marks like a tree that's been wounded or bleeded or people have written on there, people have tried to leave their mark maybe you both have been scarred in love before a 
what is this connection trying to reflect back to you oh my okay i haven't seen these i love this we have grow and lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening you may be looking for someone that you can really grow mature with to create life with this personal connection is reflecting back to you just how much you have grown and how much more you will continue to grow this connection is reflecting back to you your creative abilities where you are rooting like those trees where you are creating stability roots home i'm feeling like home heaven on earth wow this connection you could be like in a honeymoon bubble or something heaven on earth and now i'm hearing that lana del rey song and it's like um they say the world was made for two video is it video games i just heard it and now i've lost it i heard that you like the bad girls honey is that true better than i ever even knew they say that the world was built for two is that true okay This person and you, there's a lot of potential for growth as individuals and within the connection. It's happening. It's already happening. Okay. What do you need to know about this person or connection? I'm going to move these to the side. This person thinks you're incredible. They think you are an angel. You are a little slice of heaven you're a blessing what do you need to know about this connection or person the group two if you are new to this channel i would love if you could subscribe as well group two join the soul tribe Join the vibe, bestie. It helps me so much. It's a good exchange of energy for creators. And I would love to have you here. We have the Empress clarified with the Nine of Swords. Show me group two's person, please. What's going on? Two of Wands. This person's planning. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. This person's planning. King of Swords. Yeah, strategy, thinking, intellectualizing. Hmm. And what's your connecting energy? What do you need to know? Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. Wow. Queen of Cups on the bottom. And it's, I'm scratching my chin now, like I'm thinking. Okay. Or when you sometimes when you scratch your mouth i also can interpret that as someone wanting to communicate or speak there's an itch there's something like a tickle in their throat with the ace of swords as well that they want to communicate or say something maybe they're thinking or planning of what to say but what you need to know about this personal connection this person sees you as heaven heaven feels like heaven mm -hmm watching you mm, 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 mm. this person feels like you are heaven you are bliss okay the empress card this person is enamored by you 
okay they may feel like they have seen you grow or mature they find you to be incredible and i really i can't say that i can't say that enough but this person you may be in your head about them you or the you, I'm having trouble with my words now that my throat chakra. <laughs> okay. What do you need to know? Okay. You're very in your head about this person. I feel like it causes you some level of stress here. You may feel a lot of love with this person. They may really be in your heart. Okay. Maybe there is a desire for simplicity, a desire for commitment if you're not already because the nine of cups is independent again and the ace of swords between you as your shared energy. There is a truth that you both share here, a clarity. Whether it's been said or not, I feel like you and this person, pleasure, nine of cups, that talks about satisfaction um happiness feeling like you've had your wishes granted or you like it's a wish fulfillment but as as an individual so if this person has shown up in your reality and you are seeing them as someone who is a wish fulfillment but maybe It's something that you just feel in your heart. What do you need to know? Because this person is, they think of a future. They think of possibilities between the two of you. This person thinks about taking a risk or leaving their comfort zone. If there's a distance, a long distance here, they think about that. What do you need to know about this personal connection? Why are you in your head? Okay, wait. Why are you in your head? I will leave. This came out. The Eight of Cups came out, but I will leave it if it wants to come out again. What do you need to know? The Tower. Maybe you feel like this is in your head. This is in your head. Now I'm hearing um, Ariana Grande and it's like, wanted you to grow, but boy, you wasn't virgin and it was all in my head. I'm getting a lot of songs now for, for this group. Okay, this person or you, you may really connect with music. Music may really speak to you. You're in your head because this, this situational person, you could have had some relationship trauma with them or without them. Or this person has been extremely impactful on you and on your growth, on your journey. You've had a revelation about them and now you can't stop thinking about it or glossing over it or thinking about it. You may have really written as well, written about this person in journals or written them letters with this card over here. And it's like there is a mature person over her shoulder, like a grandparent grandfather figure as well overlooking overseeing what's going on and you need to know that as well that you have a spirit guide or an ancestor that is is trying to help this connection my stomach just started growling <laughs> you guys if you do ancestor work um if you are witchy or have an altar or anything like that when was the last time you made them an offering <laughs> Okay, and if that's not the case and you don't resonate with that, it's like when was the last time you visited their grave and left them something nice? <laughs> okay, anyways, so what do you need to know about this person? What's going on? What is this Ace of Swords? Is a truth that your spirit guides want you to recognize or see that you need to honor your emotional feelings that if you think this person 
brings you a lot of pleasure why is it so why is there so much overcomplicated energy going on here why is there overthinking and this may be on your end their end or both what's going on with group two's person that group two needs to know about maybe this person is planning on moving maybe they're thinking about relocating maybe they're there's something there about that as well maybe they travel for work lovers there's a choice here that this person needs to make it feels like a decision a plan maybe this person has always had like a long-term vision or plan a wish idea of where they want this to grow mature with you that you need to know you need to know that maybe that's very reassuring to you especially if you are in a commitment this person does think long term or about the future of this this person has a lot of love for you with the lovers card they could feel like you are divine counterparts or you match each other's energy really well what's this ace of swords six of cups high priestess you both know i know you know i know that you know that i know that you know as well that's what they would say they would like i know that you know that i know that you know <laughs> um that maybe okay so six of cups ace of swords somebody this can talk about somebody wanting to change bring clarity change um something to come back around this is an energy of reconciliation or childhood or nostalgia reminiscing about the past it's unconditional love as well and you both intuitively are feeling something feeling this maybe these communicate these feelings have not been communicated maybe it's something you hold close to your chest maybe you feel connected to them spiritually telepathically especially if there is a distance or someone has walked away here moved away and i suppose you are supposed to be watching this reading hearing this reading so that you can really validate what these intuitive feelings are so that you can honor your intuition listen to your intuition For others of you, this per you remind this person of someone they used to know in their youth. And this person thinks you're very sweet, very caring. They see you as a wish fulfillment. There's a lot of love here. There is a lot, a lot. Help me perceive. That is really standing out to me now with the high priestess. Help me perceive all of the love that is surrounding me so that I feel safe receiving, expressing with the Ace of Swords and giving love. So you may not, you may be having difficulty seeing and seeing and trusting this intuitive feeling and your emotions and honoring those feelings and emotions. What else does group two need to hear about this connection? oh my goodness pay attention to signs the synchronicities that you have been noticing are not coincidences especially this person whoever okay we have air sign energy gemini libra aquarius someone here is very logical someone here is overthinking the signs they are saying maybe this is a coincidence how many signs do you want your spirit guides to send you when are you going to stop overthinking it it's like i feel like for a lot of you you've seen a lot of signs and you are like what is going on what is going on 
so even your the, the, your spirit guides are even sending you signs to help you trust and lean into this intuition and you have forgive and release you are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness versus anger someone here could be feeling like there is resentment or pain associated that may be an illusion spirit is saying forgiving and releasing with the tower that is an energy of release and i'm seeing that your mutual energy is you both i don't see anger okay maybe someone here wants to apologize or there's a need for forgiveness you have be present you will attract love by enjoying life as it is wherever you are be all there so stop there's this feeling like stop wondering about where it's growing where you're going it'll come when you're not expecting it be present in the here and now unconditional love the love between you and your person is eternal nothing and no one can take that away from you absolutely it's like an unbreakable love unconditional love you both love each other regardless of what happens or has happened here and that's scary i get that that is there's just, the simple matter of the fact is there is unconditional love here group two despite any distance or blocks we have twin flame on the bottom by the way but you know take what resonates anyway let's see advice from your spirit guides and then we're going to flip over this card and see what it says and how it all links up from your higher self but first advice for group two from their spirit guides i'm hearing some of you are like don't feed my delusions someone who's like stop feeding my delusions well you know pay attention to the signs if you think that you're being delusional ask your spirit guides to send you signs stop overlooking the signs write them down in a notebook or somewhere as well so that you can stop gaslighting yourself and allowing anxiety to block your intuition honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together honeymoon i said you guys are like you could be in a honeymoon phase and if you're not that's just how much that's the feeling when you are with this person around this person you feel on cloud nine like it is heaven on earth you feel this honeymoon love bubble rose colored glasses and maybe you don't know if that's naive or something as well with the six of cups you don't know whether you're being naive wishful thinking playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you and this person's inner child with that six of cups get along like a house on fire i feel like you guys can be so playful have so much fun together there's a kindred feeling between the two of you you both are very playful and you help each other's inner child to come alive especially if you are growing tired or feeling like you know you are maturing it's time to be serious it's time to do xyz to be responsible etc etc i feel like this connection or person has the ability to help recapture romance by connecting you to that youthful blissful emotions and feelings when you do spend time together it brings that feeling to the surface for either one for both of you wedding this situation involves marriage someone who could be married wants to get married with you they think about marrying you or this could be your the person that you are married to or will be married to your life partner or your future spouse and we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully and we had be present and she is stopping and smelling the roses so if your journey doesn't look like where you like things aren't making full sense just tr just be present <laughs> just stop overthinking okay you are maturing you're growing in love and this person 
just honor what's in your heart don't shame yourself for any feelings that you are experiencing in this connection and instead just honor what's in your heart and calling in your soulmate is on the bottom so let's have a look now at what your message is from your higher self about this connection we have every challenge provides an opportunity to discover a deeper meaning to life each challenge can be a gateway to something greater. Use your intuitive and creative powers. Many solutions exist. Move beyond fear and you will discover there are no limits apart from the limits that you have placed on yourself or we have placed on ourselves. So you may be feeling self-limiting beliefs. This person may be, there may be a lot of fear. You may be feeling like there's limited potentials or approaches, solutions. Um, but that may be just clouded by personal experience or by challenges that you perceive are there or i'm seeing someone think like yeah i could do xyz but then what if abc happens and then there's this challenge and that challenge like blah 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 simplify your thoughts there is a challenge if you overcome the challenges here there is potential to create heaven on earth to create a gateway to something greater and this seems like a very very um like i'm hearing some like this person feels really cynical i'm hearing like easier said than done maybe that's you i'm not sure but these are self-limiting beliefs why <laughs> You know, you are the only one in control of your mind's mindset. Why can't you, who, who, if it's not you that's creating your ideal life, then who is? Don't give your power away to fear and limitations. It's also important to remember that every relationship involves challenges. No relationship, no person is perfect or heaven on earth and that it takes consistent effort to honour all the feelings, negative, positive, if you do want to overcome whatever it is between you two to find solutions because fear only pulls you away from love. And this love, this pile, there is eternal love. There is a lot of love. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave your reading here now, group two. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me this far. I hope you enjoyed. It was helpful or entertaining at the very least. Please let me know what you thought and liked the video if you did enjoy. It helps me so much and I'm so grateful for your guys' support. I'll see you guys in another reading. Bye, group two. Hey, group three. Welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the citrine crystal, this will be your pile. Thank you guys for clicking this reading, joining me for today's tarot pick a card. So. We're going to leave this to the side. Let's start with your pre-shuffled oracle. You got more cards than the other piles. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> we have love. Love conquers all. Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Synchronicity, a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicities. This person is experiencing synchronicities about you. Their soul feels called, pulled towards you to reconnect. This person feels a lot of love. This person feels love. They don't know if love can conquer all though, is what I'm getting. <clears throat> they are hoping for that. But this person may feel connected to you on a soul level, like a soulmate. Especially if they feel like there are signs and synchronicities that confirm this. Also, before I sat down to do your reading group three, I saw a dragonfly flying around outside. So that may be relevant to you guys. going to leave that to the side as well we have the divine masculine we have connection you guys may connect through music 
with the little music things going on down there. We have freaking na 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 na. And we have whoa, where the f did that thought come from? Wow, interesting pile so far. We have compassion, and we have sensitivity. I feel like this person is having, first of all, they are having thoughts or ideas or downloads, and they're like, where did that thought? come from where did that voice come from this person may be picking up on you telepathically energetically they may be feeling like they can hear you talking to them and they're like where did that come from because that was not in that was not my brain do you know what i'm saying these synchronicities are freaking them out this person is having synchronicities and they're like no way effing no nah. no nah, surely <laughs> surely not <laughs> okay interesting this person may be more sensitive to energy than they realize but what you need to know about this personal connection is this emphasis on divine masculine energy so there is a need here to for somebody or for both to connect with the divine masculine okay to this is about grounding leadership protection and compassion within the connection to you okay so this person if this if you're watching about a divine masculine or you are the divine masculine okay let's just scrap that the divine masculine in this connection is experiencing synchronicities they may not be knowing where this is coming from they may feel connected or urged or pulled on a soul level this this divine masculine has a lot of compassion or they also feel that you are very compassionate i'm hearing have mercy on me by sean mendez mercy What is this connection reflecting back to you? Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Acceptance. And there is this hand from above sprinkling little stars in this person's crown chakra. This person, this connection is reflecting back to you that you're sensitive that you are empathic that yes you are picking up on energy thoughts that you don't that feel outside of yourself that you are having to learn to accept and register and you this this connection may help you to feel very accepted as a person you feel very accepted supported and connected to each other Okay, let's intuitively read the artwork on this card because we're saving the message till the end. It's from your higher self, group three. There is a sun in the background and it's same. The sunset, sun rises, sunsets may be significant, but the sun swirling and the sun represents divine masculine energy. The, the feminine is the moon, yin and yang. This sun is very bright and very emphasized so something wanting to come to light that in this connection having difficulty maybe accepting whatever this is that is wanting to come to light um there is red veins as well running down her face these red veins are reminding me of dna soul soul connection um i keep rubbing my eye and there is a vein going down her eye bloodshot eyes and it's her bloodshot eyes this person may have been crying about you 
you could have cried many tears about them as well. You could feel that this person is soul family with the veins and interconnectedness. And you think of like that red string of fate as well is really standing out. And cherry blossoms may be a sign or may be relevant. I don't know what the spiritual significance or meaning of cherry blossoms is, but I'm going to look it up actually right now. Okay, the first thing that has popped up as I've typed in to Google, it says that it symbolizes life, death, beauty, and violence. And that those red flame, uh, red flames, wow. Red flames. I suppose it does kind of look like flames or fire behind that cherry blossom, but anyways beauty and violence it says as the coming of spring promises new life so that so the blooming of cherry blossoms can bring a sense of vitality and vibrancy at the same time their short lifespan is a reminder that life is fleeting so this could have been a very fleeting connection it symbolizes the end of cold winter and the beginning of a new life rebirth renewal new beginnings fresh starts I'm just reading key words that I'm seeing it revival the cherry blossom teaches us to value each moment or we will miss those beautiful moments in a blink okay so it feels like this person is missing the times that they have connected with you or they're looking forward to connect with you again they cherish the times that you do spend or have spent and there's a citrine crystal as well which also gives me some solar plexus energy <sighs> somebody here could be oriental or asian or something doesn't have to be i'm also kind of getting native indian american I'm going to move these to the side. We're going to jump straight in with the tarot now. I will leave some of these out just to clarify. It's really interesting to me as well that she's got her hair tied back like she's ready to go to war or she's ready to, she's ready she's focused she's poised okay spirit for group three what do they need to know about this person and connection what's going on with group three and this person we have the night the king of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles what's the connecting energy between you and this person this may be somebody that you work with you met at work it doesn't have to be it is a general reading for a group of people take what applies leave the rest for somebody else this person may be an earth sign taurus capricorn virgo doesn't have to be but this person definitely or you could be you as well ace of swords you feel okay the, okay Whoever is the divine, I feel like this is a divine masculine. You may be divine masculine watching this. Okay, you could really prize, cherish, care about this connection. You may be quite supportive. You want to be stable, supportive, responsible with this person that we're talking about. You want to respect their boundaries. You want to help them to feel safe. You want to protect, provide for this connection. Or the divine masculine does clarify king of pentacles the sun again success i feel that 
this person feels motivated like there is more vitality motivation behind them more optimism joy in life that is in, that was inspired by this connection pushing them to want to work on their goals to level up to mature to build success clarify the ace of swords three of swords clarify the eight of pentacles please spirit king of swords and the seven of swords what do you need to know about this person or connection bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups <clears throat> somebody here may really bury themselves in work as well somebody here is being very strategic about their goals someone has been doing something repetitively over and over wanting to work on something over and over i feel like someone's not being completely honest here as well because they don't want to hurt the other person's feelings or they don't want to get their feelings hurt but maybe this is causing them to hold back versus revealing and bringing clarity to the situation for your shared energy being the ace of swords and the three of swords i feel like there is a mutual truth that you both share in your hearts that there may be a need for heart healing as well or that there is a bittersweet feeling this could be a third party situation doesn't have to be what do you need to know you may have been working on something with somebody repetitively and it may be like you're trying to change your approach to it because maybe it's not paying off in the way you thought or this person i feel confused for this pile and i'm not sure why maybe there is a decision that needs to be made as well the ace of swords can represent a decision clarify synchronicity what does group three need to know about their person connection right now <clears throat> it's the synchronicity is are leading them to you group three this this person is having synchronicities they feel like you are very magnetic your energy is everywhere they see you in nature they see you in the clouds they see you in music they see you a, a lot N why are they saying effing nah what is that about Somebody here may have said no. Somebody may have felt too off balance. Maybe somebody here had to make a decision, pick a choice. <clears throat> the signs and synchronicities may be throwing them off balance. This person may be feeling like they need to prioritize or you need to prioritize where your energy is flowing. This connection may be secretive, hidden, something like that with the Seven of Swords as well. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo with the Sun, Aries, Sagittarius as well. 
group three. <clears throat> You are confused about the synchronicities, it feels. You're having trouble accepting something. Your subconscious is trying to tell you something that you're not consciously seeing. There is some type of pain, grief in both of your guys' heart space. Tears. Tears have definitely been shed by both people. Or all three people, if there's three people with the three of swords. You make this person feel so happy. As I said that, the lovers came out. Okay, if you're in a relationship with somebody that, and that's who you're watching about, this person, you make them feel very happy. Okay, they may want to communicate this. They don't want you to feel sad. They don't want you to deal with grief. This person may want to help heal your heart. You may be going back and forth in some type of decision you need to make. And what do you need to know? Anything else? Clarify acceptance. What does group three need to accept? What is this relationship reflecting to them? What is this connection reflecting to them that they need to accept? The truth. Perception. You may feel like this person doesn't accept you or see you as who you are as, as well. One, okay, this is like, there's, there's definitely something is going on here. Okay, you are sensitive. You need to get grounded, okay? So you need to set boundaries. You need to communicate your truth. You need to accept your strength, who you are. You may be blunt, direct. You may be seeking truth. But it feels like this Queen of Swords, she is dealing the truth. She's handing it out. Okay. Here is my truth. This is my truth. Maybe you're planning on telling someone the truth or this person is planning on telling you something. These queen and there is there's divine counterparts here, and then there is also just other energies in the mix. This you could be polyamorous for some of you. What you need to know about this connection? Something may be like <laughs> this is throwing me. This seven of swords, this energy is throwing me. And so is this three of swords. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a heavy heart and you're having difficulty accepting the heart of the matter, the truth of the matter. Maybe your mind is playing tricks on you about a person. You're feeling off balance. It may not be your energy that is um, like you could be picking up on other people and that's just adding to it. So what advice here? What do you need to know? What advice? I'm so curious what the rest of your oracle is going to say. Okay, the divine masculine energy and the need to connect here is the divine masculine exists to hold space and to balance the feminine with the feminine being intuitive emotion compassion and whatnot the divine masculine supports that has clear boundaries is protective so don't be afraid to tap into your divine masculine 
You don't need to be insecure or shy with taking lead, being assertive and speaking your truth, your needs in a situation. Okay, you deserve safety and security. And if you're not feeling safe or secure in a connection, you're feeling stressed, worried about it instead, then this is for you. You need to make a decision here. We are struggling with a decision. You may be feeling you may be judging yourself or others in the situation, trying to make a judgment call. You are assessing things. It's and this is happening for a reason. This judgment feels like it's like a big decision as well. Whatever this is may change, change your direction, change your course. Some of you are afraid of success or afraid of failure within love connection or within this connection. There's like a lot of value pressure on it for some reason. Like you're really putting in the work here or really trying to get to the heart of the matter of why you feel like it feels like something's just off. I don't know. <sighs> what is this off feeling that I am experiencing spirit? Please help me channel it out for the collective. Strength. A gut feeling. Solar plexus energy. Strength. You need to listen to your gut, to be brave, to, I feel like you are learning to, this situational connection is teaching you and reminding you of your true inner strength and patience and your compassion, your courage, your confidence and the grace that it takes in navigating all this. You appear to be very calm, level-headed. You're able to detach your emotions to see things logically i'm not seeing any cups here at all for what you need to know about this connection this feels extremely mental you could be feeling like someone may be playing mind games you may be feeling like maybe someone is not being truly honest with you and maybe you don't know whether you're being paranoid or suspicious or you are just self-sabotaging yourself what is the truth of this person on the collectives in mind actually you know what let's let we're going to do okay you're gonna um think right now of a yes or no question and then i'm going to pull some cards to get a yes or no answer So think of a yes or no question. This reading feels like it longer and more elaborate and more conf confusing than the other piles. Very different energy. Yeah, need for clarity with the citrine, bringing things to light. Okay, think of a yes or no question. Spirit for the collective watching, what do they need to know? That's so funny. We have, okay, yes. And it's the same card that was on the bottom of the other tarot deck. So double yes. Yes. Satisfaction, dream come true, happiness and contentment. So take what resonates. That may apply. Oh, look, we have the King of Pentacles. Sorry, group three. I just got cut off. Okay, I just got cut off from your recording. So anyways, the answer is yes. Now, what do you need to know about this person or connection? I already finished your reading, by the way. I already shuffled all of these and your advice cards. But we have to do it again. So beautiful group three, what do you need to know? 
that this connection or situation that is the exact card that came out before <laughs> letting go if somebody leaves you confused more than comforted you need to reassess their access to you and i feel like that is very fitting as well given what we were talking about earlier we have open yourself to love it's safe for you to let your heart be seen don't be scared so if you're going through a confusing time in your heart space it may be because you're grieving and there is a need here to cut through that pain and to see things with truth with clarity so that you can open yourself up and to be emotionally open to love with the ace of swords that was clarifying that to release pain from your heart space we have law of attraction you've been manifesting this relationship everything you want will soon be yours and beware of codependency addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life okay so somebody here may be battling with addictions um, patterns that may be what the third party interference is here as well may not be a specific person it may be something non-tangible that needs to be released what advice for group three from their spirit guides please heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with one another flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others Maybe somebody was confusing you and you had to let them go. Maybe they were flirty. Maybe they were dancing around some type of truth here. My nose just started itching as I said that. Like they have redirected the conversation as well. Like this person's being strategic about something or about what what it is they do express do or don't say what advice we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so if there is distance resistance here it's something is worth waiting for waiting out something is divine divinely timed we have romantic feelings on the bottom okay your advice card from your heart uh, from your spirit guides as well we have admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly and we did have that with the queen of swords and acceptance that there is a truth that you must accept okay the prayer card the prayer down the bottom says i appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that i can be lovingly honest with myself and with others thank you archangel michael for giving me courage and strength okay beautiful confirmations there and your card from your higher self says you are protected by a higher power that also wants to help you if the path seems blocked there is a good cause take this as a divine intervention a sign from above and wait when the time is right all flows with ease and i said something was worth waiting out okay so maybe you don't have all the answers maybe you are feeling confused blocked you don't see where something is going okay there's a need to stay grounded in the here in the now okay because whatever this distance is this confusing feeling these blockages it's for a reason what that reason is this pile i'm so sorry but i feel that there's so much to get into i'm just going to ask spirit please one card what is the reason the world 
Okay, if the path seems blocked, there is a good cause. What is the reason? The world. Because something here has to come into wholeness. Something here has is going to have a full circle moment. There is a need to close out and release something. Because there is, I feel like, achievement, success, wholeness and completion coming. Okay, it's coming, it's loading. I'm seeing like that loading thing. Oh my gosh, look. I'm seeing the loading thing on um, computers when it's the little rainbow circle going around and around. Um, I said worth waiting and the seven of pentacles is on the bottom which talks about needing patience, seeing potential but, you know, it's like watching the grass grow. Okay, so... Anyways, I'm going to leave your reading here now, group three. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful, useful for you guys, entertaining at the least. If it did resonate, please let me know down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say and connecting with you. And until next time, group three, I'll see you guys in another reading. Wishing you the best. Bye, group three.